Today I'm doing something that I probably should have done months ago, but we didn't want to leave the water sitting in the tank. So today I'm filling the tank and testing all of our plumbing. Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is our bus. bus. So far so good. The overflow drain line works. Okay, let's see if the water pump works. Ooh, yes. Oh my gosh, it's working. No, leak, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, leaking everywhere. <laughs> so, good thing I had the bucket here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this wasn't tight. <laughs> Could have been worse. Now that's tight. Pop back on. That fixed that. It's filling up all the lines. Hey! It worked. Oh my gosh. So, there's a leak up in here somewhere. Okay, tightened everything down. Nope. Still a bit of a leak. <laughs> Liquids are so hard. I tried moving the, um, the something clip. I tried moving the clip over a little bit. Maybe? Well, that's looking pretty good. Oh, now it's leaking over here. Got a leak here. So, got a leak on the water filter, but see where it's leaking from? That's the main connector. Well, there's a bunch of leaks. I need to go get some plumber's tape to redo the water filter, but overall, not bad. One of the huge pluses of designing it with all the plumbing right here is that there are no lines that I can't see. Literally everything is right here, so that's a plus. To get to the back side of the water filter, we have to take this whole panel off. Ah, and I had already done it, so maybe just not enough. I went with a lot more than last time. Put this back on. The new constant tension clamps came in, so I'm gonna try swapping these out with our screw style ones, and hopefully this will fix all of our leaks. Tight enough. <laughs> oh, <got a> leak. <sighs> well, that didn't work. Everything is leaking, so I'm draining the system back out, and I will have to figure out another plan. My new idea is to do double clamps. So two clamps going opposite directions and the constant tension ones just as a extra, though I don't think they're gonna do anything. So we'll try some of these and maybe that'll work. I didn't have enough hose clamps to do all of them, but I got all the ones in this section where it was leaking. So hopefully we can test that. Was I not recording? Let's try it again. Cause you gotta see this. Okay. Pressure on. Oh, I think it's working. Oh, but it's leaking on the back. So it leaked off of the old connectors. It looks like the double clamp might have done it. So let's go get some more clamps. I got all of the connectors connected. They're all doubled up. And let's see what happens. Get some water flowing through. No leaks yet. Okay. Oh, got a leak. I had over tightened one and stripped out the worm gear. So swap that out. So I think that does it. The answer was anytime you use hose barbs with this line, you have to double up your worm clamps. 
but I think I got this fixed. So that's the last big project that's waiting for us before we can move into the bus. So we're about four or five weeks ahead and then we'll be moving in and I think everything is looking really good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.